so guys you can see that this is following our programming it goes in one direction moves four rounds and then it goes in the opposite direction and moves up four rounds see it is exactly following our coding hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you how you can interface a pic 16 f 877a microcontroller with a NEMA stepper motor using A4988 stepper motor driver module. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC16 F877A microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. And this is the A4988 uh, stepper driver module. This is the cheapest you can buy in the market. So this will have its limitations, uh, but we will use it whatever we can do with a stepper motor, motor using this. And this here you can see is a small potentiometer. This is for the limiting the current. By default, this A4988 comes calibrated. But if you want to change the calibration, you have different sort of NEMA motor. Then you can rotate this using a screwdriver to adjust the current. So guys, this is our NEMA stepper motor I'm going to use here. So as you can see, you can use NEMA 17, 13, etc. They all have same pin configuration. So if you hold this motor like this, then on the left side, you have this connector. It has total of six pins. And out of this six pins, only four will be used and two will go empty. So let me show you how you will label them. The topmost label it as a 2B, then leave the one empty. Then the third one is a 2A, fourth one is a 1A, fifth one is empty and sixth one is the 1B. And this will labeling will be seen here as well. So now you have the labeling, you will simply connect it to the A4988 as it is. So out of six, two are empty and four are, four are to be connected. Now guys, to power up this motor, you can use an external battery uh, of value 8 to 15 volt. I suggest you do not exceed 8.5 to 9 volt for this cheap motor driver uh, because uh, it may burn the IC and with a heat sink, you can go up to 12. But I suggest you just should be like 8.5 to 9 volt maximum. Now guys, the point is uh, this separate supply is used because you cannot power up this motor using the power supply of the pick because it will starve the pick and pick will uh, like keep on resetting. So you will have separate power source for the pick, a low voltage power source, which will also power up this A4988 IC. And then you will have this power source to power up the motor. And this will be a high power source. Now guys, let me show you how to label this uh, module. Now this topmost pin here is the V mode. That is the power for the motor where this source will go. And then you have the ground. Then guys, you have 2B. 2A, 1A, 1B. That's why I labeled them 2B, 2A, 1A, 1B. So you can directly understand where to connect with which wire for the A4988. Now then you will have VDD and then you will have the ground. Now these grounds are shorted for beneath. You don't have to short them yourself. So you will connect the motor power here, ground here, your pick power here and ground here. This power from the pick will power up this IC. It will be maximum of 5 volt and this can be up to 35 volt. But remember that whatever your motor supports, you should not exceed that value. And that's maximum 15 volt. Now this 2B, 2A, 1A and 1B will go to your motor. Now on the left side, the topmost is enable. Then you have MS1, micro selection 1, micro selection 2, micro selection 3. These three pins, micro selection pins are for selecting the mode. If you leave them empty, like you leave them floating, at this point, uh, your drive by default is at the full step mode. And that's fine. You don't have to touch them if you want to use a full step mode. But if you want to change the mode like you want the 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16 mode, then you have to go to the data sheet. There is a table. You will use it. But full step mode is enough for our application. Now the next pin here is the reset pin. Then you have sleep pin. Then you have step pin. Then you have the direction pin. This enable pin is by default pulled, uh, pulled low. This means that whenever this... Uh, the pin is low, your module is active. So by default, it's low. So if you want to deactivate your module, only then you will give 5 volt to this pin. So you don't have to touch it as well. So these four pins will go untouched. So guys, the next thing is the connections. So we connect the V mode, that is the power for the motor to the external supply, A215 volt. You can use a battery or a power unit or adapter, whatever you have in your project. Then connect the ground with the ground of your external power source like this. Then guys, 2B to the 2B of the stepper motor, 2A to the 2A of the stepper motor, 1A to the 1A of the stepper motor, 1B to the 1B of the stepper motor like this. Simple as that. Then guys, the VDD will go to the VCC of the pick like this and ground will go to the ground of the pick. This will be responsible for powering up this IC and this will be responsible for powering up the stepper motor like this. Now guys, our power connections are completed. Now we get to the left side. 
Here you short the reset and the sleep pin like this. You have to short them. And for the step pin, you can use any available digital input output pin of your pick. I am going to use the pin number D3 for the step. And for the direction, I am going to use the pin number D2. This is simple as that, guys. Our motor is connected. Now, let us let me introduce you to the hardware before we get to the programming. See that, guys. This is the hardware. This is the motor here. This is the A4988IC. And this is the pick 16 f 7 a And that over there is a pick kit 3.5 I am going to use. So, guys, this is our motor here. I have this flag so you can understand in which direction it's going. Now let's get to the micro C for pick. Let me zoom in. So guys, I'm going to use the variant 7.2.0 for the micro C for pick. You can use the higher variants as available. Higher variants as well if they are available. Uh, latest is always better. So whichever you have latest, try to use that. So click on file, new, new project. Now guys, this new project wizard will pop up. Click on next. Write the name of the project. I write stepper. Motor Tutorial by Learning Microcontrollers like this. Then guys, select the destination where you want the micro C files to be stored. Then select the microcontroller you are going to use. I am going to use a PIC 16 f 7 a Select the crystal. 20 megahertz is the one I am having. Click on next. Finish. Now guys, as you can see, uh, we are on the main screen. Before doing anything else, press Ctrl S to save your work like this. Now, the next thing is, first of all, we initialize our direction, two pins. Remember that only two pins are going to the pick, step and direction. Only these two will be enough to control the whole motor. That's the beauty of this driver. So, D3 is a step pin and D2 is a direction pin. So, we initialize them. So, first of all, we write tris D dot F3 equals to 0. This is our D3 and D3 is the step pin. So, I write step. So, this is our step pin. So, tris D dot F3. So, this command, tris command in case of Arduino is like pin mode output. So, here we use a tris, tris command and 0 means output, 1 means input. So, step command pin will be the declared as output. Now, give the initial state port D dot F3 equals to 0. By default, it must be 0. Give some initialization delay. It's not necessary, but I suggest you always give it in the one-time loop like this. Now, guys, we, have, we are done with the step pin. Now, let's declare the direction pin. Change it to direction like this and make it D2 because see that on the hardware, we have the direction pin connected to pin number D2 of the pick. So, that's why we made it D2. Now, it's also an output and this also initially must be 0. Now, we go to our forever loop. Write down while 1. Forever loop starts here and here. Make it look some thing better like this. Now, guys, first of all, what we do is that whichever direction we want to go, we will give it that direction. 1 means it's one direction and 0 means it's the opposite direction. Now, we have to give some step size. So, we use a for loop. Let me initialize a variable for the for loop. I write int i. That's all. I, I will be using for the for loop. And i by initially equals to 0 like this. And I write for i equals to 0. This is starting bracket like this. For i equals to 0, i i is less than 200. 200 means it's one complete revolution of 360 degree because of the specification of this motor. This is standard. Like for 200 steps, for the full in the full step mode, 200 steps means it's a complete revolution. So, I make it uh, i plus plus. Then the i will keep on incrementing. Now, let's send a pulse. So, I send a pulse here. Now, pulse will be sent to see that D2 is the direction. And D3 is the step. So, send a step here. D dot F3 equals to 1. A pulse is make it 1 and 0. That's a pulse. So, and again, make it 0. Now, this delay will define the speed of the motor, whatever the speed is. So, you give some delay here. Take this. I give in microsecond, not ms, it will be us. I give a microsecond delay of 2000. Like this. Then, copy this again. It will turn off. Now, this is a pulse, a step pulse. So, it's it means this will define the speed and this is our steps. How many steps we want to take? We want to take 200 steps, which means one complete revolution.
from where it started it will end at that place so we make it 8 so we will move we move 8 steps in one direction now this is port d dot f2 to make sure that the port pin has turned higher i suggest you also give another safety measure a port d dot f2 double equal to 1 if the port d dot f2 has become higher only then it should enter into this loop okay then we give some initialization delay here like after for how much much time it should remain on i make it like for 2000 it should give a pause so it will move like eight revolutions eight eight complete rounds and not divided by four uh, two sorry 200 means one complete circle 800 means four circles it, it will move total of four circles and then it will, it will stop for two seconds and then we go to the opposite direction now port d dot f2 that is the direction pins become zero then it means it will move in the opposite direction now again we do the same let's copy it from here to here place it here like this now if the port d dot f2 double equal to zero see this is just an interlocking to make sure that the zero has been given to the pin it do not misses the pin like this only then it will start moving in, in the opposite direction now that's all so what this code is gonna do is that our motor will first of all move in one direction it will go for four rounds and then it will stop for two seconds and then it will move in the opposite direction and then again it will follow four rounds then it will stop for two seconds and then it will start all over again so let's build this code let's build it and write it into the hardware and let's see what happens so i select the file on the Picket C programmer tool, this is the file. I click on write. Okay, the new hex file is being written. Let me zoom out and let's get to the hardware. So let it write. Okay, let me first power up the power source. Okay, it's powered up. Now I press the on key. See, it is following our coding see that it goes four rounds in one direction and then it repeats in the opposite direction see well the supply is set to nearly nine volt see it's nine volt now you can see that that's what we just programmed that it should go in one direction uh, for four rounds and then it should go in the opposite direction for the other four rounds you can play with this code as well i will give you this programming file uh, in the form of you can say the Google Drive link I will upload all the micro C files in the Google Drive and I will share the link in the description of this video so you can download it and play with the code so you can try different voltages different speeds different revolutions uh, and the main thing in the stepper motor is basically the step size you can change the step size simply by changing this 200 means one complete revolution so 800 means four revolutions you can see that it is going four see it goes four revolutions then it stops then it goes in the opposite direction four revolutions so that is what we just programmed so guys i hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day